Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan, the K1 Bantamweight World Championship tournament. Here at uh, Indian Arena Osaka, I'm Russell Guru. And Nicholas Pettis. It's a bit of a uh, change of scenery from the, um, the Bantamweight uh, fighters. This is the Cruiserweight, that's 90 kgs. It's Saki Kato here versus Akira Jr. Both are about the same height, 185 or 186 centimeters. We'll see what these uh, heavier weight fighters can do. And this uh, cruiser weight. Interesting first uh, 30 seconds of this round. I mean, the heavyweights are always exciting to yeah. watch because, <laughs> you know, you never know what can happen. And sometimes it happens really fast. Yeah, so we'll be looking at uh, you know, a lot of weights in the 50s. Like Kato 50 fighting in the South Pole, uh, fighting stands there. Making it a little bit difficult for Akira to actually like, close the distance and like, unleash his hands. Mm. Again, they're being really cautious because they know if they start banging it up, someone's going to drop. Yeah, at 90 kgs. Oi! Did you, know? Did you say drop? <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> okay. That's that classic kill straight left from a southpaw that most fighters really do not like. Oh boy. Oi, there you go. That's it. Oh man. This is quick. Wow. So this is not a tournament fight, so that nope. means it's a key knockdown rule. Yeah. One off uh, match in the KM Cruiser week. I think he's going to fall. This is my play, you think it's our big... Oh, oh, oh. Kato getting some answers to two. Oh, he had another shot there. He walked right into it. Mm. Not working particularly good for Akira Jr. See, the problem here is that if you punch yourself out, yeah. you, you might slow so much down that you get mm. too tired, and then the other guy's got an opportunity. Mm. And then again, you don't want him to recover, right? Because he's already talked to him twice. Yeah. What is he going to get from this round one? Oh. Could be this and that. A couple of things are finishing good. He's getting close, that's for sure. Yep. Body shot, come on. You put yourself out of his guard. Up a cut. Body shot, open him up. There's the body. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, smiling oh. and they've got a couple of seconds. They're just resting here. Okay, yeah. No, you, you were saying they, they uh, because of the heavy weight, they're sort of tiring themselves out if they do that, that too much of their punching? Yeah, for sure. Mm. I mean, look how, how gassy is here. Yeah. You can tell that his punch power went drastically down at the end of it. Yes. So, I mean, why punch yourself out? Mm. If you're going to do like, something like that, you need to be really smart with the shot that you're taking. That's true. So there's that, there's that one there, yeah. and maybe this one. Actually, that was a really yeah. nice punch. Yeah. And the second one there. Got that to the junior there. So now he's got two downs. Uh, Kato, Kato has. Let's go into the second round. So he has to be really smart coming into the mm. second round. Just Akira, does right? Akira, you know. Well, both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Kato needs to be like picking his shots, mm. and not over overdoing anything. Yeah. And hopefully, he can find another way to connect his hand to his chin. On the other hand, Akira Junior needs to be like super aggressive. Mm. Oh, okay, this might work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 
They slowed down a lot in the second. Oh, yeah. Half. Yeah. This is not like the featherweights or the bantamweights. Uh, true, yeah. They can use it. Oh! Any wobbles, any wobbles, any wobbles, I told what? you. Oh, man, he's going to get blocked. He might not be back up on the feet. Look at that. I did say he has to be super smart about what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, focus, man. Focus. focus oh, this out. is not going to go well. Good for Akira Jr. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's still wobbling, Kaku. He's still hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. That's a down. Okay. Oh, I need to stand up. Focus. Okay. Do the fighting pose. Okay. Is his eyes okay? He mm. about what he does now. Okay. Out. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Change of, um, I won't say fortune, but how the practice turned out for Akira Jr., who's the winner of this fight. Quite the exciting fight. Wow, after what happened in round one. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, said, I, I told you, right? Yeah. Kato punched himself out on his yeah. bar. He didn't recover fast enough when in his break. He came back, he was tired and sluggish, and then he got clipped. I'm a bit lazy there. It wasn't lazy, but yeah. Just that sort of, I guess, and Akira knew when to strike. Like, you might see some of it now. There. See, he walked right oh, into that punch. Boom. And his legs like wobbly, wobbly. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And he's just... <laughs> Good on Akira because he, he saw, you know, that he connected yeah. with it and he just went for it. Follows it up with those... Uh, <laughs> and you can just see that uh, difference between the lighter weights and the cruiser weight, which is at 90 pages in Akira. Junior, Captain's breath there after that win. And round two. Oh. Just uh, curious to show that you know, never give up spirit. Yeah, yeah. Anything can happen. Okay, and his, uh, okay, his speech. え、なんとかえ、クルーザー級のえ、すごい。え一番上がまあ、あの、トップ前線に立つところできたんで、え、今からトップのえ、いる方が選手、え、選手方どんどん引きずり落とすんで、え、最終的にえ、去ったりまで